I meant to get a haircut. Bro, snap is Con Air. I've never seen this movie, but I own the VHS, which is crazy. Este día es una puta what the hell? Oh, shit. That is so f random. The first time we see this dude, Nicolas Cage, he's screaming. I knew you'd understand what I'm trying to do with this film. Right. This is the role of a lifetime, and I, and I, I really love to be a part of this. It takes 13 milliseconds for the human brain to send a message to the body. <laughs> my cerebral cortex will have transmitted a signal to the 17 healthy muscles that operate my trigger finger. And before your hole has had a chance to pucker up, your medulla oblongata will be splattered on a wall behind you. Oh, give him the part. Give him the part. Holy shit. Yes, give him the part. I can do another if you want. Damn, man. That was good, right? What the hell? Felt good. Mankiewicz? Woo! Incredible pull. <laughs> well, people do say he's crazy, so. Not the beast! I'm out of my eyes! Ah! This could be a game changer. I don't need a game changer. It's, it's like Miles Davis told me. Sometimes it's the note you don't play. Miles Davis was a heroin addict. I don't need this. Get out of my car. Nikki, get out of my car. I don't need this. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so we're in for one hell of a movie. You're making too many movies, Nick. You're working too hard, Nick. Have the audience miss you more, Nick. I mean, hello. <laughs> it's my job. I pay my bills. I feed my family. You're annoying. Oh gosh. I mean, yeah, especially he does a lot of indie films, so he doesn't really get paid a lot compared to other actors. I'll say that because this dude still gets paid millions. So <laughs> I'm just saying. That or he makes me watch old movies and then discuss them, which is really just him lecturing me for two hours. <laughs> it's common. Conversations. So you gotta watch like a four hour movie with this man and then hear him lecture you for another two hours? Damn, that's torture. She has an amazing visual sensibility, always has. We're very close and within that closeness, I was able to ascertain. <laughs> uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever seen a Nicolas Cage movie. Unless I got one on my channel, I don't, I don't know. It's not just that, you know, she's never read Mary Shelley or Jane Austen or even Twain. What, a little philistine, should we disown her? She thought Humphrey Bogart was a porn star. Yeah, oh what, really? Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But, but no, seriously, who, who is that though? <laughs> Would you like to take a guess on what today's sponsor for this video is? No, it's not a VPN and no, it's not a new set of headphones. Today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. And I know you've heard that name before. Who hasn't heard of Raid Shadow Legends? And yes, they know that they've become somewhat of a meme now, just like how I was saying the VPN and you got the headphones and you also got the trimmers, you know. I just wanna go ahead and congratulate them on their up and coming four year anniversary. I had a lot of doubts like a lot of other people but it's actually a really great game man and i'll say that you're missing out on a lot if you haven't started playing it now i'm talking there's hundreds of champions to collect a super in-depth rpg battle system and amazing graphics and you can't deny the facts man it's definitely the best mobile rpg around and also while playing raid shadow legends i got to thinking exactly which champions would i like to invite to my own dinner party would be Brockus. That's because I've always liked lichens and werewolves, and if I could choose to be one myself, I would. To honor Rock. With her, I just really love her design, and I love how she plays. It's Cecilia. Now, to be honest with you, the only reason I chose her because I really like her name. And Astralon. He reminds me of some movie Legion that I watched, basically with him and the wings and double swords and just his design. Now, Raid Shadow Legends also has a cool event going on this April, the egg hunt. But we're not just hunting any regular eggs. We're hunting dragon eggs. You can embark on an exciting AR adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone and if you find the hidden egg, you'll be in a chance to win some amazing in-game and real life prizes. Ranging from a legendary raid champion Amazon gift card with a total value of $20,000, golly. <laughs> Shoot, and how do you participate? Oh, well, you can just click the link down below in the description to the Raid Shadow Legends app. Copy your in-game player ID, and then you can head over to egghunt.plurium.com between April 14th and May 15th. Same with that's 
for new players only. But if you would like to participate in this event with Raid Shadow Legends or just to try the game out, it's pretty fun. You can click the link down below in the description or you can scan the QR code here on the screen. And you'll get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. And once you're in, you can go ahead and find me, use my username, and we can go ahead and play some matches together. You know, once again, if you would like to participate when it comes to the whole event and also try out Raid Shadow Legends, it's a pretty fun game, man. Just click the link down below in the description, and I hope you have some fun. And with all that being said, I would like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Hey, Fink, let's meet up. I have some questions. Yeah, I don't know. I just really want this. And hey, this Neil Patrick Harris. I know how tense you get. This is going to help you relax. Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. I loved it so much. <sighs> what is it with movies and freaking Neil Patrick Harris having like this weird type of fetish for stuff, bro? Like Harold and Kumar, he was freaking hilarious in that movie. I'll take care of it. Kenny says you still have substantial debts. And now the divorce and your spending habits. Okay, and, okay and, I'm gonna deal with all that think. This dude has like 10 movies coming out every year. How the hell are you broke? He said he loves you, but he ultimately went in a different direction for the role. Sorry, dude. Well, after that read, like, are you serious? How are you gonna be that damn stupid and disrespectful? I should go up there and whoop his ass. <laughs> when she was nine years old, my daughter and I took our first trip together. We drove overnight across the desert to the Grand Canyon. You remember this, we are? I do remember that. Come on, bro. Why are you acting so embarrassed? This seems like a nice story. Watching the sun rise, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> I really thought he was gonna be good at playing the piano at least. This dude sucks at playing the piano and singing. Especially with how real town life goes on appreciating this <laughs> whole town. Sun rising, <laughs> sun rising. <laughs> okay, she's not two years old anymore. She is a smart girl who needs her dad. She doesn't need this guy. I love her accent. I thought she said dog at first. I need money though, bitch. The Mallorca thing. What, the birthday party? I'll take it. When it's over, I'm done. Tell them I said it was a tremendous honor to be a small part of one of the oldest of human traditions. Sorry, I'm driving through the hills. One more time. I said. <laughs> That's messed up. He put his heart and soul into that, bro. This dude, Nicolas Cage, is killing it. They have asked anyone with any. What do you say we cut the chit chat a hole? <sighs> you almost got me killed twice. What movie was that? I can already tell this movie reaction is gonna frustrate some people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna show a lot of stuff and probably talk about a lot of stuff I don't know about, bro. I'm in position. All right, as soon as I have eyes on Baldessari, you move in and take them. Wow, Tiffany Haddish, okay. That's an interesting casting choice. But I know she's been trying to get out of comedy and do other things. I mean, I don't think she's funny whatsoever. Why the f is Nick Cage on this plane? Vivian, get the f out of there right now. Nicholas Cage, oh my God. Favorite. You were the best. Cruise is that animated movie, right? Are you out of your mind? Do you remember what went down in Lisbon? Lisbon, man. Oh, I was kind of loud. I'm 44 years old. What would I see Cruise too? I pick Bro, a movie's a movie, man. I, I hate people with that freaking way of thinking. Like me? I can't wait for Barbie to come out, bro. That's my most anticipated movie of the year. <laughs> The boy Pedro Pascal. He wrote this screenplay and he wants Nick to star in it. Throw that in the f***ing trash. Nick, you're fine. It's not like he's gonna want you to suck his dick or f So Neil Patrick Harris is playing his agent? Oh, okay. I'm not sure I understand. Look, if Harvey wants me to suck his dick or f*** his wife or watch me watch him f*** his wife, that's a no-go. You understand? That's no bueno. I think so. Okay, and if Harvey... I am Harvey. Nick Cage. <laughs> The hell is that, bro? He was incredible. Was he? But also like super cool. He was a little taller than I had imagined because you know they say actors are pretty short. So was he short? No. No. He was just right. Okay, uh, but did he say anything about your screenplay? No, he didn't bring it up. I didn't bring it up. It wasn't the right time. I actually think that's pretty cool, man. That's a good way to get yourself into the business. There's... 
<laughs> I retire. What? Because it's just a matter of time before the great power plant upstairs turns off the juice and we retreat to the black pit of nothingness from whence we came. <laughs> okay, I can tell this dude is going to have a lot of badass lines in this movie, bro. We must go now. Hey! What is going on? What are we running from? Is this one of those sequences where he's like secretly filming his screenplay without Nicolas Cage knowing? You need to tell me right now what the hell is going on or I'm getting my shit and I'm going back to Los Angeles. The general, the general forbid me to see his daughter Matilda, but we defied his orders. Can't you see him? I get it. You're making this up. What is this? <laughs> Gabriella ripped the bedspread off me this morning. Now you're sending me on like a wild goose chase. I'm sorry, but you can't quit acting. You can't. That's none of your business. I mean, he's paying well, you, you sir. Have a gift. And to turn your back on that gift is to turn your back on the en entire human race. I can see why a lot of people love Pedro Pascal. The way the sun is hitting him right here with the way his hair. Yeah, that's a nice shot. We have to go now. We have to jump. You're in an untenable situation. You know that, right? Ooh, that's cool! Oh, shit. oh, hell no, I would not be doing that. That was some good motivation right there. Wild man. <laughs> Dude, looking like he's supposed to be in a cologne commercial. This place is stunning. How did you mean to leave you? She was a makeup artist on Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Beautiful film. Thank you. Underrated for sure. <laughs> I know there's a lot of actors that feel like a lot of their films are underrated. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oh. That's a question for all y'all in the comments, too. That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You see, 100 plus years of rich cinema, you can't just limit it to one. Uh, the cinematography has been on point. Look, can you just stop stalling and answer the question? What is your third favorite movie of all time? Paddington 2. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that, but I've heard a lot of people love the Paddington movies. <laughs> Paddington 2 is incredible. I fucking told you. Yo, that chemistry is amazing, bro. I'm loving this. This movie is not what I was expecting so far. I wasn't that thrilled about coming out here, but tonight has been the most fun I've had in a long, long time. So, thank you. Yeah, that definitely just made his whole world right there, man. So you're on retired then? That's the idea. It could be good for me to do some smaller roles with great directors, some challenging character work. So, like, uh, I wonder what the bartender is thinking right now, seeing this dude talk to himself. Exactly. What the f talking about? You listen to me. You're Nick fucking. <laughs> Whoa, Cage! Damn, that was epic. The boy got lungs. Come here. Oh, what the f oh, this dude's ego is crazy, man. Yeah, Nick Cage smooches good. I have another one. No, you need to take your ass to sleep. Oh. Hey, take my watch. It's not a copy, it's real. Mr. Cage, we're with the US government. The man you're staying with is the head of a violent international arms cartel. They're lying. They're lying. Javi. I don't think we're talking about the same guy. Exactly. They're lying. Bro. About it's the same, same fucking, fucking guy. Man. Okay, okay. So you're, uh, <laughs> you're saying your acting ability trumps five years of hard data collected by the world's finest intelligence agency? My nouveau shamanic acting ability? You better fucking believe it. Oh, hey. Yeah, he won a an Academy Award. What have you won? This came in yesterday. How do you think you would feel, huh? And that will haunt you for the rest of of your life. Oh, look at that smile, bro. That dude isn't no cartel leader. All right, Nick, stay calm, just like we talked about. 
Take the incapacitating agent out of the pouch. Put it in your hand. Remove the outer layer. The inner layer has the chemical on it, and if you touch that to someone's skin, they'll be out in seconds. This dumbass. Oh, oh, oh. I, th I thought he put it on his still. <laughs> I can hide under the... Oh my god, he... I touched my forehead. He did it anyway. Go back into the pouch and get the antidote ASAP. It's locked. Where's the key that we gave you? Inside. <laughs> with the antidote. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, what y'all expect? He's an actor. And didn't y'all say he had 30 seconds? It's been way more than 30 seconds. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hola. I can't feel my legs. You know, I really enjoy <laughs> Okay, go, 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 Nick. I love you. Stay with me. Stay away. Oh, y'all lucky that the window was freaking unlocked. I can't move. Then you're gonna die. Do you want to die tonight? Man, I do the main character. He ain't dying. Action. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> the strange thing is, I can see myself doing more of this stuff. You know, spycraft, subterfuge, what have you. I'm actually surprised he's never been in like a spy movie like James Bond or something. He seemed like he has the charisma and stuff. I just want to thank you all for coming tonight. And I would like to tell a story. Damn, you want to f*** me, bro? Why are you just looking at me like that? We disagreed about literally everything my father and I, except for this movie. We would quote it back and forth. On behalf of my late father, I want to thank you. This dude just keeps winning me over, bro. I love this man. This has happened twice now. No. He is a driver in the employ of the Secret Service. I can't do anything about the cook or the nurse. No, they work for you. But this guy works for us and he's gone! Oh, no. <laughs> You're scared from yourself? What movie was that? And uh, I hope y'all like timestamp this stuff. When I say what movie is that or whatever, so I'll know what movie y'all talking about. Because I know I'm going to be saying this multiple times. But if we are going to create a, a work of art, we can't just sit and stare at a screen. What have you got there? Divine inspiration. Was that LSD? LSD. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, that's some crazy thinking, man. That's, that's somewhat on his level right there. Oh, here go the scene. So they was tripping balls. I thought that that whole thing was them in like a car chase scene or whatever. <laughs> Maybe we could have like a paranoid thriller angle. Like see those two guys over there? They've been watching us. Fuck. Did you see that? They just looked over at us. <laughs> Yo, this is the ad that I've been seeing on TikTok and shit. I really thought that they were talking about somebody like following them and all this shit. Like, what in the world? This movie is not what I thought it was gonna be. Maybe do like a like a fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get up slowly on the count of three. One. <laughs> Dude, that boy from the streets, bro. He don't play. That boy dipped. It's too high. Use me as a human stool. Grab my hand. Grab it. Dude, that boy a real one, because I would have left his ass. Uh, you're heavier than you look. Uh. <laughs> I have a very big head. Enormous. An enormous head. And that nose, too. Who knows what's going to happen next? No, it's okay. <laughs> you go live a good life. I'm not going anywhere without you. Now grab my hand, soldier. We were both dying. I could never live with my- Grab the ledge. You let go. <laughs> Goodbye, Nicholas Cage. Oh, I never forget you, man. <laughs> I did not think this movie was going to be this funny. You go. <laughs> and then he's going to walk around. Mr. Cage? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out we could have just walked around. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Those are two different dudes, but they do look similar. <laughs> Yo, remind me to never use. Oh, shit! Ah! 
I'll never use LSD, bro. If they tripping this damn much. Maybe this movie, maybe, maybe it's about this. About us. Our relationship. So the movie they're talking about is the movie that we're witnessing right now? Yo, that's meta as fuck right there. I want to know what's inside. Regardless of what the consequences are. Because once you go in there, it could change the way you feel about me. Oh yeah, I, I know it's I know it's behind there because I've seen a little bit of that scene too on TikTok. Is it too much? <laughs> Trip. Trip. I know. I am sorry if it is weird. Damn. But it's a good collection. It's... The Nicolas Cage memorabilia. I think I'm gonna check out National Treasure because I know they're doing a National Treasure TV show for Disney Plus. Well, that, that's just really creepy. Oh, from Mandy? Mandy is a masterpiece. Custom Springfield armor. Made specifically for the film. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. Yeah, that hairstyle is crazy. Hold on, hold on. Your daughter gets kidnapped? That's terrible. People can come. Oh! Fucking lie to me! Oh my god, I'm not, I swear! Wow. I know why you keep on talking about this kidnapped girl. You feel guilty about your relationship to your own daughter. Yo, what was that, Javi? That was crazy, man. That changed the way I think about you a little bit, bro. How I see you. I think I should have been more present while I was at home. Would either of you have wanted to prevent me from living my artistic dreams? Because I, I sure know I wouldn't have wanted that for either of you. <laughs> we flew to Mallorca for that. Wow, that was fucking pathetic. Damn, for real? I thought I thought y'all was gonna like that. Really? Because it's just you you get used to it. Yeah, that's pretty much part of the course. Mm. Oh, damn, okay. I keep this little photo on my wallet to remind me of all the fun we had. That song. I I, I meant that moment that I wrote in that song. I, I I meant it. You didn't write it. You got drunk and you made it up because you couldn't stand not being the center of attention. I don't think it was that, but okay. Shit. I think we have more work than I realized, but this is good. <laughs> At least I don't have to pay for this. Que es tan urgente para que tú vengas hasta aquí. I love Fruit Loops. Okay, well, this movie is brought to you by Fruit Loops. Llamada esta semana. Muy interesante, ¿sabes? De Sergio Baldassar. Lo sabo muerto. No lo ha visto nadie en 15 años. Que sería muy conveniente para todos juntar nuestras operaciones después de que el presidente de Cataluña sea reelegido. Tú eres el jefe, tú mandas. Oh. Tú raptaste la hija de Delgado. Oh. <laughs> What a twist, bro. Because I really thought that Pedro Pascal was the head of the damn cartel. So he's probably the right hand man. ¿No te gustan los cereales? ¿Y qué tiene que ver todo esto conmigo? Your friend, Nicolas Cage, is working for the U.S. government. <laughs> okay, so I thought that dude was his bodyguard. He actually his bodyguard. I can see myself doing more of this stuff, you know, spy craft. I really hope this dude does not die in this movie, man. No, 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 no! But either I kill you, or you kill Nicolas Cage. Oh yeah, I knew that. Was, I knew that was coming. Now this is a real dilemma right here. Oh, I love how he does that, man. Maybe a kidnapping would work. Our movie would start out as a beautiful character piece and then slowly change into a more thrilling Hollywood blockbuster. That's pretty much how the movie went, yo. Not see for years, not even really talk to, and just pick up right where we left off. I totally agree. It's just easy. <laughs> oh my God, that was, oh my goodness. I guess it's time to figure out how this thing ends. Hell yeah, I'm trying to know how this movie's gonna end. You brought me out here to kill me, man? Oh my. Where the fuck would you kill me? You're the head of a criminal <laughs> organization. My cousin Lucas is the head of the organization. CIA said you ran it. The whole world thinks I run it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was about to say. It was like a protection thing. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I f***ing love you. I love you! <laughs> okay. This is what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, let's do a shootout, baby. 
Okay, I see you, Nicholas Cage. That boy over there busting shots. You just run out there. You get the truck. You come back and get me. I will keep a lookout. You are a faster runner than me, even with subpar footwear. I saw how fast you were in National Treasure. No, that'd be the stunt department. Not according to the making of featurette. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. So you're going to go? I'm going with you. Man, what was the whole point of this conversation? <laughs> Oh. Don't worry, he's totally passed out. <laughs> I thought he was fast. The way that boy hit the damn chest, man. I know the wind was knocked out of him. They took Addy, Nick. They took Addy? She went outside to find you and they just grabbed her. Yeah, of course, the teenager want to be hard headed. Yeah, what? 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 You're going to get him to drop out, right? You're going to get him to drop out. Just come directly here. I had a feeling there was something going on because just the way she was sounding on the phone was sketchy. Hey, at least you went out like a G. I appreciate that. Y'all don't hear these gunshots? You'll end up dead like her. Leave it to the professionals. There is no one else. Dang, I thought you would have had the ego to been like, yeah, go save your daughter. I have to go in there because Addie has to know I fought for her. Oh my God! <laughs> you need to know who you are, Nick. This isn't a role. You're not a hero. This movie is amazing, and I can already tell a movie like this is going to inspire so much. We are going to walk straight in through the front gate. Yo, sacrifice yourself okay, like that? Cool. Very dramatic answer. How's that supposed to work? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, she looked good. You kill him, I'll still make the deal. But I don't think you're gonna kill him. Although I am wondering why the fuck you think you can intimidate me. Oh shit, I love this energy, girl. Damn, girl, I love that, that bad bitch energy. Neither of you are supposed to be here. What's the deal, my man? I was beginning to think you don't have the girl, and uh, since our deal was based on Delgado dropping out... Uh, He'll drop out. Well, he hasn't done it yet. Lucas, no me gusta este tipo. Is that the same dude that was in, uh, Bad Boys? What the fuck? What the fuck was? <sighs> Your face. Oh, oh, oh fuck! I would have told them to drop their guns had my wife take the gun and both the girls. Come on, man, go. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Hell yeah, it is. Oh, that's dangerous right there. <laughs> okay, Nicholas Cage. And they made the movie, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. Where's Javier, bro? I love you, Daddy. There you go with the fresh cut, all right. I was too nervous. How did it play? Oh, they loved it. Congratulations. This dude's beard looked more fake than it did before. I'm surprised this dude didn't get killed because I know his cousin probably says something about him while he's in prison or whatever. Or is his cousin dead? You were a bee and I said, Jeff, not the bees, not the bees. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know that reference. Yeah, show us something you like. So we just came from watching a movie to go Have home. Have you ever seen Paddington 2? And then watch another movie? Shit, I guess I need to check out Paddington 2. I know Paddington 3 is uh, starting production right now. That's what I'm talking about. What a way to end it, bro. That was amazing. It was, I, I loved it, bro. I absolutely love this movie, man. This is a fantastic movie. I hope y'all enjoyed my reaction and watch this movie with me, man. Please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, and click the bell so you know when I up more my videos. This was just absolutely amazing. The performances, the, everything, man. All right, everybody, and there we go with the unbearable weight of a massive talent. <laughs> Yo, that title is crazy. This movie was amazing. Yo, if this is your first time checking this movie out, go watch the full movie, man. Support this movie. Came out last year, actually. Wow, I thought this movie came out way before then. All right, so this movie came out last year in the theaters. Man, rent this movie, buy the movie, man. From watching this movie and just the messages that they were putting out when it comes to just like Nicolas Cage and just a lot of actors in general, because I know there's so many other actors that feel this way. Like, 
like you know support them bro i absolutely love this movie man it was hilarious had good action the performances were absolutely amazing i really liked the chemistry amongst all the actors this is probably my first time i think i've seen a nicholas cage movie before i just cannot tell you which one it was <laughs> but i know of nicholas cage seeing this movie with pedro pascal because i haven't really seen a lot of pedro pascal i mean like yeah i've seen him in game of thrones i think of course we've seen him in the last of us i seen season one of mandalorian and now i saw this i know a lot of people said that he got his big start in uh the narcos show or something like that or maybe he got it before then i don't know but yeah if you like to see my full reaction to this movie any of the other movies i do the tv shows i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon man i will go ahead and give this movie an a bro this was a fan Fantastic. But with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.